You're one of the most famous venture capitalists in the world, in part because you had a lot of deals that were spectacular. Two of the most spectacular uh, were Google and Amazon. So when you saw the guys who created Google and you saw Jeff Bezos, do you say these are going to create these guys are going to create world class companies, or do you say maybe they'll get my money back? What did you think in the first time you met them? So I met Jeff when he was 30 years old, and he and I were both computer science kinds of geeks. And Amazon had a business plan; it was growing to be the world's best bookseller online. And so I invested, I think it was uh, $8 million for 15% of Amazon. And Jeff and I set out to build an amazing world-class team. And he had a vision, which is true to this day, that if he had the broadest selection with the most affordable prices and the best customer experience, that flywheel he could get to grow by obsessing on the customer. And yes, I believed he was successful. No, I had no idea that it would be worth $1.2 trillion today. But the same thing happened a few years later when I met two 21-year-old Stanford University PhD dropouts, Larry Page and Sergey Brin. And in that case, I invested $11 million for 11% of the company, which was very controversial. They had no business plan, no revenues. And I asked Larry Page, he, he sat across the table from me. And I, I said, Larry, how big do you think this can be? Without batting an eyelash, he said, 10 billion. And I said, surely you mean market cap, right? He said, no, I'm talking revenues. He said to me, John, you have no idea how much we're gonna be able to improve search and how important search is for finding all the world's information and services. 